Jones. You are welcome to my channel. You are welcome to do my solution. You are welcome to your home where nothing is impossible. Today is another day God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. You are welcome to a good time today. Today I have a topic I tied to the enemy must run mad. The enemy must run mad. Yes. Let's start it from the book of Isaiah. In the Bible. As you follow me along. The book of Isaiah 50. 53. God says, Is it the enemy you see that makes you tremble? Let's go down to the book of Isaiah 54, verse 14 to 17. He says there that the righteousness of his children are his right. But he himself, the Almighty, he created the spoiler that go ahead to destroy. He said he is the one that created those enemies that are troubling you. Read the book of Isaiah 54. You will understand what I'm saying. The enemy, they are not there on their own. When the children of Israel were struggling to leave Egypt, he reminded Moses, he said, my son, I had the, the act of Moses so that I can perform my wonder. So as from today, God shall perform wonders in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will be loaded for, for a long period of time that refuse to come to your doorstep. As you follow this prayer up today, God will bring them to your doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ. God can never fail in his word. He said, he said of my word not to come to pass. Let the whole world pass away. So God has a lot for you. Please, we have this prayer profession. It's the word of the Lord that we want to remind him concerning us. Follow up with me to the book of Psalm 40 verse 13. Say this to yourself. Be pleased, O oh Lord, to deliver me. Hmm. God needs to be pleased to deliver you. Because it is when God was pleased with the children of Israel, that is when he brought them out of Egypt. If God is not pleased with your way, our righteousness is like filthy rag before the Lord. There is nothing you will do. That will please him. It's only the mercy of God. And that took me to Psalm 123. Read that please. And plead for his mercy. That place says, I look upon the youth as a maid look unto the hand of his mistress. Look down with eyes of mercy upon me. Look down with eyes of upon me. Yes. Pray this. Read that chapter, that verse, that verse of the Bible. Then pray this prayer like this. You say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, make haste to help me. That is Psalm 71. Make haste to help me. Are you not tired of your situation? Is the situation not, if you are not tired of your situation, the world is tired of you. Let me remind you again, many destiny are attached to you. 
Many people are look on to you for upliftment. There's no creation on earth that God made it by mistake. Every human being has a purpose, a reason why you are on earth. If you refuse to function, many that are attached to your blessing will not be blessed. Yes, even the bears in the sky, they, they, they feed on the works of the farmer. They feed on the products that the farmer produces. But if the farmer refuses to plant, what would the bears eat? Yes, whatever may be your heart desire, please be on your feet right now and confess this prayer point. I really meant what I'm saying. Confess it seven times. Oh Lord, deliver me. Deliver me for those that are stronger than me. Make haste and deliver me. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, deliver me. Make haste and deliver me. From the hand of those that are stronger than me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Make haste and deliver me. Pray this prayer seven times. At any minute of time, you come across this video. Please pray this prayer point seven times. Oh Lord, make haste and deliver me. Don't leave me in the hand of the, 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 the evil ones. Make haste and deliver me. You know, God said to, to Abraham, He said, I know your heart. I've studied you. I know what you can do. For that reason, I will bless you that you will be a source of blessing to others. If you are ready for God to bless you so that you can be a source of blessing to others, please say hey. And as you say hey, rise up on your feet and pray this prayer point seven times. As you pray, God with his infinite mercy, he will break the bar. He will break the iron bar asunder for you to break into your fallow ground. For you to be blessed, God needs to do something. For you to be uplifted, God needs to do something. Yes. You will say again, in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, you know, the book of Obadiah has only one chapter. Obadiah. The Obadiah has only one chapter. Go down to verse 17 of it. But upon the Mount Zion, there shall be all deliverance. And, and there shall be holiness. And as their souls prosper it. Yes. If you are a Christian, the prosperity of the Gentile belong to us Christians. If you are not making it, that means you are not yet prosper. Read the book of Obadiah very well. God says that the blessing, he will deliver us and he will bless us. And the blessing of Gentiles belongs to us. Who are the Gentiles? The unbelievers. The unbelievers. Those of you that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, your blessing, if Jesus is not blessed, they will not fight for his garment. Please go back again to the book of Matthew. If Jesus Christ is not, is not rich, they will not fight for his garment. When they crucify him, can you crucify a thief and start fighting for his clothes nowadays again? Jesus Christ is the richest of the richest. So, show me your friend, show me your father, and let me tell you how far you can go. I have a father who never fails. I have a father who owns the whole world. I have a father that is nothing impossible unto him. Why can't you be boast of the father you have? Why can't you be proud of your father? I am proud of my father. I belong to the heavenly race. I'm not of the earth. Yes, I'm not of the earth. So, be boast of the father you have. The omnipotent father, the omniscient father. The God that owns the universe. The God that nothing is hidden unto him. If your case is not blessing you, you are praying and praying is not blessing you. Please, look inward. Something is wrong. Look inward. Something is wrong. And when you are looking inward, ask for mercy. Psalm 51. Ask for mercy. Take not away the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me 
the joy of salvation. Thank God and let God restore unto you the joy of his salvation. That he should not take away his mercy upon you. Your sin cannot stop you. Yes. It's not by might. It's not by our righteousness. It's by the mercy of God that we are not consumed. That we are still alive to be boasting in the Lord. Please, my dear viewers, I like to stop here. You know, I love talking about the heavenly God. I love talking about God that owns the whole world. But at this minute, I will pause here. As you are passing by, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, I have a lot to unfold here. I release video on daily basis. Please, tomorrow is loaded again. Tomorrow I'm coming with something new, something great, something wonderful. So please, make a date with me. We'll meet again tomorrow. We'll continue our discussion from here. God bless you. I love you. Jesus love you more than I do. Thank you so much. You are my best, best friend I have so far.